We're in Office 365. I'm going to show you how to delete a domain that you no longer need. Let's go ahead and click on Admin, and it'll open up a new box. And then we're going to go to where it says Domains and choose Delete a Domain. Let's go ahead and choose that. And now we're going to choose our techpublishing.net domain. And we're going to say we don't need it anymore. But we're going to get a new message saying, hey, you can't do that until you choose another default domain. So let's go ahead and hit the drop down. And we'll choose our ClickX3 domain and click Set as Default. Now we're going to get another message saying that there's some dependencies that we need to get rid of as well. And that basically means, let's go ahead and cancel that, that basically means that we probably have a user who's using this particular domain as their default login. And we can see here that Jane D at techpublishing.net is certainly there. Let's go ahead and click that. Now we're going to edit where it says username and email. And we're going to change so Jane's no longer going to be able to use techpublishing.net as her default. So we're going to add Jane D at clickx3 and we'll set that one as the primary. And we get a little message, you can just ignore it, click save. And now Jane D is going to log on using the clickx3 domain rather than the tech publishing domain. Now even though it says Jane D at techpublishing.net, it just hasn't updated yet. So we'll go ahead and close that. And we'll go ahead and click on edit a user. And we can see now that her default domain that she's logging into is clickx3.onmicrosoft.com. So that worked exactly how we wanted. Now we'll go back to delete a domain. And we're going to go ahead and choose the techpublishing.net once again. Now it's saying that we've got some dependencies. And now we're going to go ahead and choose to remove them because we know they're not tied to any particular emails. They're just tied to aliases and Skype addresses, which we just don't care. Now we'll go ahead and delete that, click close, and any users that may have had the techpublishing.net domain tied to their account, they are now deleted. However, if they had it set to being their primary, then that definitely could generate an error unless you did what it is I just showed you, which is to remove that as the primary address. So that is how we delete a domain in Office 365.